We just received a tip from Lucid Insider blog that the company has already sent out emails to some owners of the Air Electric sedan. The letters apply to the startup automaker's second recall, which involves the Ethernet wiring harness for the glass cockpit instrument panel. According to the recall, which has been listed on the U.S. National Highway Traffic Administration's NHTSA official website, the Lucid Air's harness could potentially be improperly secured on both Dream Edition and Grand Touring models. However, it's not known how many cars are affected. The information on the NHTSA website explains that disabled display screens won't reveal important details, such as the speedometer, gear selection indicators, or warning lights. This could potentially put drivers in an unsafe situation, increasing the risk of a crash. Lucid is advising owners of impacted air electric sedans to contact Lucid to have the Ethernet wiring harness inspected at a Lucid service center. If need be, the harness will be properly secured or replaced free of cost. The inspection will only take about 30 minutes, though if a complete replacement is necessary, it's about an 8-hour job. Owners should either contact their local Lucid Service Center or reach out to the automaker's customer care department at 1-888-99-LUCID. Air owners can also reach customer care via email by using the following address, customercare at lucidmotors.com. The blog points out that there have been recent rumors suggesting that Lucid may be making adjustments to the Air EV's glass canopy. The publication notes that these rumors now appear to be true. He said, literally all that's needed are some zip ties to make sure the Ethernet wiring harness is secured. This is the second recall issued by Lucid since it first started delivering cars. The first was related to a front suspension issue. You can read about the first recall by following the link in the related articles below. Thanks for watching. Credits to InsideEVS.com. Please like my video and subscribe EVpedia for more electronic vehicle news and updates.